Hi everybody, my name is Dirk Van Gelder, and I'm here to tell you five things to know about USD, or Universal Scene Description, which is a core technology that Omniverse is built around. Now the first thing to know is that USD, or Universal Scene Description, was developed by Pixar for its animated feature film production. At Pixar, they needed a way to be able to describe rich, complex 3D scenes, like you see in this shot from Coco, and they needed to have a format where they could represent these scenes and also have hundreds of artists across the studio all work together collaboratively. And so USD is the culmination of 30 years of software development at Pixar to produce a representation for collaboration in a 3D world. Now, it was written to be a foundational library that was used as a basis to build other things on top of. So here you see Pixar's Presto animation system, here used to create the fur for the raccoon in Incredibles 2, or here uh, showing the animation interface that was used in Finding Dory. Um, so it was, it was written to be a thing that you build other applications upon, and that is what we thought was particularly interesting and useful for us in Omniverse. So something to know is that Number two is that USD is an open source standard with wide industry adoption. In 2016, Pixar released USD as an open source package. Here we see a demonstration from the day it was open sourced, and we're seeing 3D content from the movie Finding Dory, but it's being played back within a, a software called USD View that is completely free. Every, all of the software that you're, looking, that you're looking at is open sourced by Pixar. And the, the code is available on GitHub, uh, which is a website for developers. So if any developer wants it, they can just go ahead and grab this code and use it. Now, because it's open and free, and because it's an excellent representational medium for three-dimensional scenes, a number of other uh, companies in the industry are, are adopting it. We're seeing wide industry adoption. So here, Autodesk, this is an example from their Maya package, uh, is integrating USD. Uh, you have examples like this from Side Effects. They've written a Solaris interface within Houdini, which is excellent and uses USD. You have companies like Epic with their Unreal 4 engine has a USD integration. So adoption across a number of different places. Here, finally, we see Apple. This is um, a video from one of their developer conferences in 2019 talking about why they chose USD as a representation for their augmented and virtual reality scenes that they have on their Macs and on their iPhones. Now, USD has a lot of features inside of it that, um, came, that Pixar developed in order to represent their scene. Here's a set of, of features that was within USD that Apple thought was advantageous and why they built their software upon it. Now, another thing to note is that Omniverse is the first application to be built entirely around USD. This is not a format for import and export. The actual document that you're, that you're working on is USD itself. So here we have Omniverse with the attic scene. Um, and all of the things going through our beautiful uh, real-time ray tracer here are represented in USD, and you see a list of them on the right. So you can change properties within them, like turn, changing, the light, changing the lighting, or you can move this horse. And as you see on the bottom right there, as I move that horse, a value in the USD is changing. So the document is USD, and that is something that is a first with Omniverse and we think is pretty cool. Now, one more thing to note about USD is that Omniverse extends USD to enable live collaboration with other applications. Because USD is a great way to define three-dimensional worlds and a standard way to do that, we can use that standardization to enable our connector tools to be able to integrate Omniverse with other things. In this example, we see um, the tools Rhino 3D, 3D Studio Max, and Revit. And you want to be able to have those things communicate live um, with something like Omniverse. So here Omniverse is showing uh, real-time ray tracing. This is something, frankly, we do better than anybody else. So if you want to have your artist while they work in their 3D tool um, be able to see their results in real-time ray tracing, you can do it with Omniverse. As you see here, where an artist is modeling with Rhino 3D and seeing the lighting change in their model in Omniverse. Here in 3D Studio Max, you see buildings going up on the block and you see the lighting change within Omniverse as you look at it. So this live collaboration is something that is new uh, with Omniverse. Here you see Revit placing uh, tables around this room and you can see the lighting change in Omniverse live as you work and that is enabled by our use of universal scene description. Now finally, USD enables complex asset structures that are shared between tools. Just as Pixar needed to do to have its hundreds of artists be able to create these rich, complex, three-dimensional worlds, uh, NVIDIA does this as well. So you see these 
uh, assets that were created within Omniverse using universal scene description. Uh, this is our headquarters in Santa Clara. Um, and we, this was developed by artists distributed all around the globe using the standardization and integration of USD. Uh, here are some other models that you see. Again, all of this was modeled in USD by artists distributed around the world um, and then run through our real-time ray tracer to display these images. So I hope we've given you some understanding of what universal scene description is and why it's important to your use of Omniverse. I hope you've signed up for our open beta program and enjoy using Omniverse. Thank you very much.